Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. I hope you're well. <clears throat> the the um, the wanderer returns. Um, yeah, I just wanted to um, start my um, start the ball rolling, if you like, with my YouTube videos again, uh, and to just give you a, a little bit of an insight into uh, why I've been away so long. So. Um, if you're not interested in all the ups and downs and news and developments of, of, of what we do, then probably not the video to watch. Um, but if you're remotely interested, then then, then this video might be of, of reasonable interest to you. So, uh, yeah, just give you a quick recap, really. So it's been a couple of months since you've seen me last. Um, for everybody, the world's been kind of turned on its head, hasn't it? So we've all been improvising, uh, to par uh, pardon the pun. Um, so we've all been improvising a little bit and, and, and working our own path through the uh, this kind of uh, recent pandemic. And um, so, so and, and you know, I'm no different to anyone else. And, and uh, it's been a really extraordinary kind of uh, event, set, set of events. And um, so if I go back to the sort of beginning of the pandemic, I suppose, the, the, we, we, we just rented out this new property thinking, you know, onwards and upwards. And then the next thing, whack, uh, the uh, you know, COVID strikes. And I suppose I thought my days were numbered. And like a lot of businesses, we thought that, uh, you know, what, how can we trade when we're having to close down? But as it turned out, within 24, 48 hours, we realized that actually life was gonna carry on for us because we had the ability to do social distancing and a lot of our business revolves around uh, online and mail order. Um, but as you know, I, I, I did a video uh, because I didn't want to be ramming guitars down people's throats when people were losing their jobs. And Doing a little video, a bit of tuition, seemed like a nice thing to do. Just to sort of, not knowing what was happening in the world, just 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 reach out really and connect with a few people, um, and just get maybe a few people going. Oh, appreciate that, Rich. You know, <laughs> nothing more. And I was actually very embarrassed to even do it because I know there's such great teachers online, there's such wonderful tutors um, <clears throat> that have been doing this for many years, and it was almost a bit. Um, almost ridiculous to think that anybody would find anything I've got to say of value with guitar tuition even though I used to love teaching and I, I, I used to value the information that I was imparting and I had confidence in myself as a teacher but but the reaction was just crazy and absolutely over, over absolutely overwhelming uh, so the reaction from the tuition videos was just crazy and continues to blow me away and I'm so eternally grateful and um, but it created its own little minefield because um, <laughs> so many people were watching these videos that um, just we just became completely, utterly, literally swamped. Not just swamped. Uh, uh, the way I described it to Teresa was <clears throat> always like dangerously so to the point where our reputation was extremely on the um, you know. Uh, our reputation was had genuine uh, potential to be completely rubbished overnight. Really, and I explained it to, the way I explained it to trades was if you if you're if, let, let's just hypothetical, but let's say for example there are a hundred people that you can deal with and cope with and ha help, and so your your setup and your resources are set up to enable one hundred people um, to be helped then what if you've got 500 people that want helping? All of a sudden you have 400 people that think you can't answer the phone, you can't answer an email, you, you're you not delivering your promises. Basically, you end up looking like an absolute fraud. And, um, and that's how I felt. I just felt that we were in a, a real deep trouble uh, because we, I, I don't even want to tell you how many emails went unanswered. I just can't. I just can't even tell you because I'll be judged for it and sort of. Well, surely you could have done something. And well, actually, when you're employing, when you're running a business that is based on absolutely 100% sincere, dedicated, honest advice, um, based on 25 years in the industry and uh, you know total integrity, 
it's not that easy just to employ people to uh, fill the shoe, you know, fill your shoes and do respond to tickets for you or respond to inquiries. So it it, it really was a complete nightmare. Well, <clears throat> the good news is um, I found an absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I'll call him a young lad. He's older than me when I started in business, but he's um, he's twenty, about twenty-five, six, twenty-seven, um, and his name's Ricky. So we now have Ricky on board, who helps John. Closer, please. Closer. And myself. <laughs> so now we have three of us. Um, so I'm, I'm heading back to now. You know, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to bore you with the entire story of lockdown. But, um, but to, but to, to cut the chase, we now have three of us. There's Ricky, John, and myself. Ricky is a. Uh, uh, he's he's an old he's a young man in old no he's an old man in young shoes. What is he? He's he kind of a <laughs> he he loves blues. He's really into his old school blues, old school uh, classic rock blues music. Uh, and um, he's just a lovely chap. And if you if you've called the shop recently, you'd have probably spoken to Ricky. He'll have a sort of South African accent because he's from South Africa. And. Um, and quite oddly, uh, uh, within a month of Ricky joining, his brother joined us too. Uh, and uh, so, uh, yeah, so Ricky and Dylan. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Uh, is in logistics. So. What we did was we created um, over this period that I've been kind of not been doing so many videos. I have just had my head down, head down, answering tickets, answering inquiries, doing uh, and basically putting in new systems to make sure that we are everything that I say we are. And I'm not going to live a lie. I'm not going to, and I'm certainly not going to fall into uh, the trap of what I, you know. I, if you know my history, I um, I closed a business down with depression uh, 15 years ago, and um, because I just couldn't stand the mainstream process of retail, and um, <clears throat> we were selling 10 guitars a day, seven days a week, a two million pound turnover, and uh, I described myself as the most unsuccessful successful person I know. People would come to me, you know, in the show. Well, oh, it's such a successful business you have here. You must be very proud of it. And actually, sadly, I wasn't. Um, I was living a life of depression and, um, you know, extremely unhappy with uh, what my business had become. So I'm kind of paranoid about ever going down that path. And the way I've protected myself from doing that is I, I only sell the products. That, you know, as you know, I only sell the products I love products I'm passionate about if I'm not into it I'm not doing it I have no interest in doing it and um, so um, I'm, I'm kind of going off the rails a little bit here um, but it was it was important for me to make sure during this lockdown period that my business remained true to my ethics if you like um, and to make sure that we keep delivering the service that I'm proud of and sadly However much I absolutely love doing my videos, and this is the bit I absolutely really, I fall in love with doing content like this. Um, I, I love doing the videos, I love chatting to you guys, and I was just ch chatting to Dylan a minute ago, and saying, <clears throat> it's weird because now when I don't do a video, I feel like I'm letting people down, because I feel like I, I feel connected to, to you. Um, there are so many people who have said to me, Richard, what, what's, are you okay? What's, what's happening with the videos? And you know, why, what, you know, is there a problem? And, um, and they're genuinely concerned and genuinely, and maybe feeling left out that they've not been informed. Well, why haven't you, if you've got a problem, why don't you tell us? Why don't you, why don't you mention it? I thought that was the idea of the videos. And, and to be frank, that is the idea of the videos. The videos are supposed to be a kind of fly on the wall overview of my life and work and, and our life here. Um, and, and so now it's going to be great because we've got a, a, a bigger team. Um, there's, as I say, we've got um, John, my right hand man. He's our pedals guru. 
and he's going to be talking to me about my little baby pedals. Um, absolutely incredible um, pedals that are, let's look at that. I don't know if you can, way. There you go, my run, run, run pedal, my legend pedal. Um, I've got a whole series of them down here, um, sounding amazing. I've got a, um, actually, can you guess what um, amp I'm using? I've got a few pedals running down here. I'm running through a beaten up old backstage PV amp. Um, and I'm going through the effects loop, so there's no amp uh, tone at all. I'm running through an EQ, I've got my Legend Reverb, reverb pedal. Um, I mean, I shouldn't be doing this. So yeah, it's it's just crazy. So we're going to be bringing you information about pedals, anyway, as you probably know, uh, the Legend Pedal series I brought out, so that we can start teaching you about pedals, anyway. John, John, my right hand man, he is pedal guru. So we're going to be sitting down, going through all these pedals, uh, explaining what they do, how they work. That is going to be amazing. Um, Developments. There's all sorts of developments that have been going on, and I'm and I'm going to be this week. I'll be bringing out some videos explaining that to you. Huge uh, news with first guitars. Uh, so my babies, first guitars. Um, if you've been watching my Facebook, yeah, watch me on Facebook. Um, please, uh, if you if you can follow us on Facebook, uh, that is really cool. And Instagram. My Instagram posts do post to Facebook automatically. So, if you uh, are into Insta if you've got an Instagram account, please uh, follow me on Instagram. But if you're more of a Facebook person, then follow the uh, guitar specialist. It's called uh, facebook.com forward slash guitar specialist, because all my Instagram posts do then go on to Facebook anyway. Um, but that's a great way of staying in touch as well. So some of you might know about some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, but. Um, uh, I'm going to be asking you about Guild guitars, um, but I'm not, I'm, there's too much. Dovina, the wonderful, wonderful Dovina guitars, there's progress there. Um, first, as I say, Guild. Then we've got the Gordon Smiths, the ongoing, what do you think of that? That is, look at that. Now that is a solid mahogany um, Gordon Smith, classic T. And it sounds absolutely wonderful. Play it, play it, as you can see. This is going to be great. Um, so, oh, there's so much. There's tons of things to tell you about. Um, I'm going to introduce you over the next few weeks to all the guys. Uh, as I say, John will be talking about the pedals. Um, I'll be getting Ricky in to do a bit of blues, a bit of singing. Um, uh, Ricky is going to teach me to become a complete guitar player or a complete musician. I've always been very much a, uh, a bedroom guitarist and very insecure in my own kind of abilities. And um, Ricky is going to be helping me just become more of an all-round musician. So uh, I might give you a bit of a fly on the wall uh, uh, overview on that as that develops as well. Um, you'll be pleased to know then that our, um, in terms of getting on top of things, if you use our ticket system now, we're fully, fully back on, on things again. Uh, we've, we've taken control back from uh, Covid, and uh, we are uh, we are keeping uh, very much on top of the ticket. So if you're using that, you should be getting good service there as well. So um, yeah, it's lovely to be back. So uh, hopefully that's going to mean I've got a lot more time to chat to you guys about guitars again. So uh, yeah, well that's it. So sorry I've been away, and um, and I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to be back again. And uh, I'll uh, 
be updating you on all things guitars soon. Um, let me know if there's anything specific you want me to talk about, um, because I would like to know. As always, it'd be good to get some direction from you guys. So, um, that is it. I will leave you with a, um, what, look at this. Oh yeah, I'll be showing you this. Look at this little baby. Amazing, isn't it? That's just one of my legend pedal. Look at this, MJ. Look at this little baby. They're absolutely wonderful. Metal, full metal case. Um, that's 39 pounds. That's 39 quid. And um, they're all beautifully uh, presented. Really high quality. And like I said, we'll be uh, giving you an update on, on how to use all those. Okay, cheers and see you soon. Bye.